right ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner. Through the web link uh, and join, or joining the meeting via a telephone call. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that, I will uh, call the roll of each of the members to make sure we can hear and be heard and in no particular order. Dylan? Here. Gaston? Here. Ellie? Here. And I'm here. So we are now called to order for this evening. Uh, let me make sure I'm looking at the right stuff here. Sorry. So first up is public comment. Do we have anyone for public comment? What happens? Is there anyone in the in the gallery there, Steve? We have one, but he is a party to an application, so. Uh, okay. Bruce, if you have an uh, unrelated public comment, you can raise your hand. And if not, then we can move along to your application. Right. So seeing no public comment, we can move on to our licenses for the evening. Um, we have five categories. Um, it, who's our person that's, that's waiting? Steve? This is um, Bruce McAmis from Provisions. Oh, provision. So why don't we take that one up first, which is actually the you know, liquor license change of location application. And so, um, Bruce, thank you for joining us tonight. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your change of application and, and we'll, we'll take it under consideration. Yes, sure. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, so we, um, as you may know, we're currently in the uh, in the red barn up at, up on the Coles property, up uh, North Square on uh, Coles Road, um, and we are applying to move uh, the license and the business from that from that barn uh, across the parking lot to the corner uh, to the corner um, the co the corner of the of the uh, commercial space across across the parking lot on the same side, the south side of Coles Road. <clears throat> And uh, where you know the build out is now more or less complete, and uh, so it's just a, a a relocation, no no change in the scope of business or whatever. Right. Are there questions <clears throat> from the from the board? I don't have any either. Um, so given that we don't have any, and it's literally you know across the parking lot, I don't see any. Um, issue with this, so I would uh, entertain a motion for the approval of the liquor license change of location. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a motion from Dylan, a second from Hallie. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I will vote aye, so that's unanimous. Thank you very much for your uh, notification and uh, application to change your location. Good luck in the new spot. Okay, thank you very much. Have thank a good you. night. You Thanks. too. Bye-bye. Next up, we have uh, a new common victor's license application from Primo 2 at 255 Triangle Street. And I believe that's the one that was in our packet. Yes, so it's not a new business. It is the same business that... Um... Uh, this just changed ownership, and um, they had neglected to redo their common victuals license um, last year, so they submitted a new one under the new ownership. Fantastic. Does the board have any questions for Steve? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the license application. So moved. And do we have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That passes unanimously. Um, just mix up the order to keep you on your toes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, next on our agenda, 
is renewal applications. We could do these in, in well, there's two transfers and in, in a, in a common VIC license. So um, I guess, let me ask this, Steve. <laughs> Are there anything, is there anything controversial with any of these or any particular pieces of information we need to know about the three, the, the two transfers and the, and the, uh, and the one uh, renewal? So I guess I would just say about the transfers, um, you know, as, as we, we did hear the liquor license transfer applications for these businesses and um, they came in, um, you know, we don't usually see businesses that are kind of um, passing the baton. Usually it's one business closes, another one opens. So we don't usually have transfers like this and they submitted to renew the licenses under um, the new names. And I figured it would be, best procedurally maybe just to have the board vote on officially transferring them um, rather than me just editing it. So that uh, I don't think is complicated or controversial. And the other one is just a late renewal. Okay. Dylan, go ahead. Uh, just a quick question here. Um, Uptown Grill LLC is Amherst Burger Company's new location. The public house is Savannah's. Is that the, the, the namings respectively, or is it inverted? Just out I, of curiosity. Uh, I don't know if I will ever be able to keep those two straight, but let me, <laughs> let me look real quick. <laughs> While you are doing that, I will go ahead and make a motion to approve the uh, license renewal, uh, as well as the transfer of the Common Vic and the live entertainment licenses. Thank I'll you for the and you'll soak it second. So that's the, the remaining items under license uh, renewals and transfers for this this meeting. Yes. Um, so I did look it up. Uptown Tap and Grill is uh, formerly Amherst Burger Co. And the, the other one is formerly Savannah's. Got yeah. it. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll, I'll call the roll. Gaston. Aye. Allie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote on it's four to zero where we are approving all of the licenses that have uh, remained there. So uh, now we're on to discussion topics. Um, first item on and only discussion item other than upcutting meetings and agendas, the marijuana regulation. So um, Dylan, was that last with you? Is that correct? Yep. Um, and I mean, we had uh, in our last meeting, we, we talked about a little bit more thoroughly of kind of what direction we're going in. But you weren't there for that one, Doug. You missed her in missed person. In person. I haven't seen you guys in person uh, in forever. And I had to be <laughs> myself. So sorry. So the uh, the the way we want to uh, approach things is try to have the discussion items more so for the in-person meetings, um, just because we can much more have a, uh, an easier discussion as opposed to being on Zoom. So I'll use this opportunity to just give you a little bit of an update to what we talked about there. Um, the general takeaway, it's, it's basically, uh, in terms of the regulations for, um, uh, just dispensaries and some kind of preparation for the doing away with, um, host community agreements. It's to, as much as we can have a one-to-one, -one, uh, in terms of, uh, language relating to alcohol, keep it the same with marijuana, anywhere it cites smash general law, make it specific to marijuana, but to, to really kind of keep that spirit of the whole thing, unless there's something specific that anyone can think of that's unique to marijuana, that is an alcohol, which I have not been able to do yet. Um, that's what we're doing with that. The next one is we really are talking about, it sounds like uh, recreational uh, marijuana facilities or, uh, or, or venues are, going to be coming at some point when the uh, state finally gets that together to to allow for that. And we've just been talking about getting prepared for that. What are we looking for? Um, the the social general consumption. social consumption. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So the general yeah. consensus right now, um, as long as hey, as long as you people have me in the lead, uh, I am uh, I'm looking into businesses right now throughout the state that um, are looking like they're positioning themselves to be, um, you know, these consumption, social consumption facilities. And I'm looking to start talks in the near future uh, with these people to try to get a sense of what are they looking to do and potentially even um, try to facilitate discussion among towns of potentially business owners uh, 
people who would want to be business owners in this space, trying to connect them with some of the right people in town to see if we could be a community that would have something like this. Uh, the idea being much like Northampton was able to open that first dispensary because they had kind of laid all the uh, foundational groundwork to make something like that happen. I would like to see a similar situation here in Amherst. So the idea is to explore that idea right now and see uh, very early stages of just even seeing the feasibility of it. So that's kind of where we're at right now with marijuana regs. Yeah, I would say on that topic, just a couple couple things. I think if we have our regulatory framework in place, then it makes us much more able to be uh, for businesses to take advantage of, of the opportunity. I think, and I'll, I'll share this again with folks, my, you know, my struggle with the social consumption piece is two things. One is uh, there's not a reliable test for intoxication for like operating under the influence as far as driving stuff. That's, that's a concern. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, and, and the other one is, is, is more about the staff that work. Um, so in an, you know, in an alcohol establishment, it's strictly forbidden to have the bartender drink while, while working. And in, uh, you know, when I think about social consumption in, in, in a marijuana uh, cafe, that's a concern I have for the workers. They don't get a, if it's, if it's a place where, you know, there's, there's the actual smoking of it is, is can, can we create circumstances where they as, as employees are not impacted by the, the, the patron's usage. Um, because we explicitly require that of alcohol, I think, you know, and part of that so that they have good, clear judgment about overconsumption and management of circumstances and all that. I think the same things apply here. So that's, those are things I'm looking for um, as this rolls out. But, you know, if, you know, if a cafe is not going to do any sort of smoking, it's all about, you know, brownies and gummies and whatever. Mm -hmm. Doug, yeah. You're not aware of any, any research that shows that people get effects from if, if other people are smoking in the in like a lounge type setting right? yeah well i think that's the question is is sort of like you know the, the classic sort of anecdotal stuff about the contact high sort of things like well i don't smoke my you know yeah. roommate does and you know that yeah. kind of thing but and i and and you know i think you're right though that one of the questions is what's the what's the what's the research sort of exposure show? risk as it were um and I think about it just, you know, again, from that sort of, we want the staff to be able to do their job at a high level of, of proficiency. Um, and if this impedes that, that's, that's, that's a problem, I think, but I don't know if I have answers to any of that. I'm just stating it as a yeah. thing I'm curious about as we go ahead. I think, uh, I think I mentioned this a little bit last time, but something in an ordinance um, could be of saying that any marijuana facility that opens recreational consumption um, could even have something that it has to be located so close to a bus stop. Because I think the idea of even trying to set up businesses in such a way where it's like, no, we don't want some parking lot down on Route 9 where you're going to drive there to right. try to really mandate. It's like, you can do it, but you got to be within so many feet from a bus stop because we want to encourage people who are going to these locations to come on a bus, like don't take your car. Um, and even maybe see, uh, see about working with uh, easing, uh, even maybe the town council to some extent to ease parking requirements for these types of businesses, even for bars as well, to where you don't want people driving there in the first place, don't make it the primary option with a, a big open parking lot for everybody to bring their cars to. Yeah, and I think that along the lines, another way to approach that would be through a through zoning. Yeah, um, you could make it part of the zoning regulation for a special permit kind of thing, because um, that parallels some of the stuff they do now when they require a certain number of parking spots for certain kinds of things. It's sort of the antithesis of that <laughs> yep. in some ways. Um, but yeah, I think those are all things that we should think about and see if they're appropriate for us, or we should be making recommendations to you know planning board or council. All right. Anything else that anybody wants to add? Thank you for that update. I'm sorry I missed the meeting where you guys, you know, chatted through that. So sorry for the repeat. Um, no worries. So I think next on our agenda is the upcoming meetings and agendas. Steve, so the, you one got, thing, uh, um, the one thing, Doug, is that the board did elect um, last time to move to a more hybrid schedule where one meeting a month would be online and one meeting a month would be in person. Um, so as to, uh, you know, better facilitate discussion in person. 
That sounds great to me. I was I was uh, inferring that from Dylan's comments. So yeah. that works for me. So um, so our next meeting is um, what's today the first, so fifteenth. Is that right? That'd be correct. Yep. And that'll be in person. Yes. And uh, besides the sort of standard, you know, licenses or transfers or whatever. Um, We'll have marijuana regulations on again. Are there other topics that we're needing to address or are in process on that we want to make sure that we include? We were going to include a letter. I think Marion's going to work on an official letter and I'll bring a card for Gabrielle Gold yep. who's retired, stepping down from the bid. Mostly out of curiosity, did they name a new person in her role? Not to my knowledge. Okay, I'm not, you know, I think that'll be a, those are big shoes to fill, I guess, is one way to say it. <clears throat> yeah. She really was really, you know, a good partner with us and I think a good, you know, advocate for the town and the business in town. So it was a, you know, she got what we were coming after relative to what we're trying to do as far as safe, you know, um, alcohol use and that sort of thing. And, and also, you know, we, we don't want to stymie business either. And I think we had a good, Good relationship there, so that's fantastic. So yeah, a card would be really nice. Um, any other topics people can think of? If not, I'm going to suggest you send them to Marion for <laughs> inclusion on the agenda. I uh, I'll go ahead. I'll make the uh, the motion to adjourn. Thank you. Oh, Is there a I have one quick quick question. Oh, whoa, never mind. Oh, it's, no, it's just a short. Is it? Um, Someone had asked me if Garcia's is closing down. Do you know anything about that, Steve? I haven't heard anything about that, no. Okay. Better not be. I just... I hope not as well. That I would ask because you seem to have a pulse on the Amherst restaurant scene, Steve. Nothing has uh, come across my radar to that effect, so... Well, I know where I'm going after this uh, <laughs> this call and I'm gonna go ask Elvis what's going on over there. They better not be closing. No, oh, that would be uh no, that's really a great sort of anchor on that end of town for sure. Yeah. They're, they're a great space. So hopefully they're success. So why don't you offer that motion again, Dylan? <laughs> I motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. Uh this will be a roll call vote. Uh Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. We're adjourned at 5 49 p.m. Thank you all very much. We'll see you in a couple weeks in person. Okay. Nice to sure. see you online, Doug. It's good to see all of you as well. I'm glad everyone seems to be in good health and, and hopefully it stays that way. So we'll see you all soon. Thank you, right. everybody. Bye Thank bye. you. See you all then. Thank you.